In front of you are the ingredients from the dishes that sent you packing. Bring back memories. <laughs> so I got kicked off of Top Chef Canada season two because of a piece of plastic wrap. We got a big piece of plastic uh, on our plate. It's so embarrassing. In season one, the dish that sent me home was a bison and barley soup. All right, can I just snag some salt? Yeah. Thanks, bud. This time around, I'm making a bison strip loin on a barley risotto in a caraway seed and beer jus. Redemption is mine. This whole Top Chef All-Star season for me is about redemption. <laughs> Hi, Curtis. How are you doing? I'm all right. I mean, I obviously, I thought a lot about the tuna casserole from before. The dish that sent me home was the tuna cannelloni and the hot tuna salad. Curtis, you failed to capture the, the comfort food aspect of it or the lusciousness of a casserole. For me, it's about having to improve that dish, you know, so just you make it more focused. So you're going to change the, the dish much, you're going to just improve it? Well, by, by leaps and bounds, I hope. Good luck with that. Trista, how are you doing? Brings back scary memories. So I don't see any plastic wrap anywhere. Oh, gosh, it's far, far away, Chef. Excellent. So you've looked at some new ways of interpreting the product? Uh, yes, I'm still going to stick with somewhat the same flavor profiles because I do want to redeem that, that jerk chicken. Fantastic. So I'm making jerk chicken pot of pho. It's kind of like a light stew. I'm going to incorporate my French technique as well as a lot of Jamaican and Caribbean food, the flavors that I grew up with. The redemption dish, it's double stakes for me. It's pretty important to show Canada that it was a winning dish. So I call this the Scarborough pot of pho. I grew up close to Scarborough, so I grew up in a very multicultural neighborhood. We have jerk chicken, potato, carrot, fennel, and I made a carrot and charred corn pea stew, and I made a jerk aioli. Thank you, chefs. I love Trista Scarborough pot of pho. Taking the basic idea behind pot of pho, braised meat, aioli, some beautiful broth, and she's completely mixed it up. She's managed to capture a huge taste of what that part of the city is, and it's delicious. I think Scarborough should be very proud. This is the most exquisite pot of pho I've ever had. It was amazing. So what you have in front of you is a tuna and scallop cannelloni with a corn volute, roasted tomatoes, and a little bit of bacon, cauliflower. And Andrea. So sadly, I went home cooking bison. <laughs> Not gonna happen this time. So what's in front of you today is a bison strip loin, a barley risotto, pickled mead pears, and some crispy celery root on the top. I think Andrew's dish is super elegant. Bison's perfect. The nuttiness of the barley risotto. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So beautifully yeah. done. I love the strength of the broth and the mushrooms. And then you get the pears done yeah. in the meat. That pickly pop is so bright, so mm -hmm. beautiful. It refreshes your palate. Every bite is fantastic. Yeah. What did you guys think of Curtis? I really love that. I love the sweetness of the corn velouté. I love the textures. It was comforting. I couldn't agree more. I yeah. love it. It was really rich, but light. Tuna casserole, that's a hard thing to glam up. He did a great job. Chefs, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Trista, the best part of your dish was that there was no plastic wrap. Amen. <laughs> your dish was beautiful to look at, and you took this dish that's classically a one-pot wonder, but you made it so elegant. The jerk chicken was so moist, the seasoning was absolutely perfect. Your aioli was this great hit of garlic, and it was just all integrated so beautifully. I think you did Scarborough proud. <laughs> One love. <laughs> Andrea, your dish, uh, earthy, tasty. Uh, the nuttiness of the barley risotto was really spectacular, and then that beautiful sparkle of the pickled pear, boom, fantastic. I wanted to go, you know, Balls to the wall tonight. Curtis, I got a little nervous when I saw your dish. I thought it's gonna be just too rich, too heavy. It was delicious. Comfort food, how I would want comfort food to be. Thank you. Mark, as our head judge, you have the honor of announcing our winner. The chef that impressed us the most and rewrote history on their plate is... Tristan. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you, Chef. Oh, wow. Congrats, Trista. You've also won a $5,000 cash prize. <laughs> Drinks around me for sure. <laughs>